Hey guys, Jason here. In this video, I'm going to give you something that I normally don't do, and that is a gear review. I'm going to give you a brief demonstration and tell you my thoughts on the ESP LTD MH1007 Evertune 7 string guitar. So let's jump right into my review of the ESP LTD MH1007 Evertune guitar. Now there's two reasons why I bought this specific guitar. Actually there's three. So number one, I wanted a seven string guitar. I've been wanting a seven string for a long time now. Um, you guys see my other guitars here, they're all six string guitars. And even though my music is pretty heavy, uh, much of that's because I use a five string bass when I record my albums. So that gives it that extra punch to sound heavier. However, I wanted to take it to the next level of heaviness. So again, that's reason number one, I've really been wanting a seven string guitar. Uh, reason number two about this specific guitar, uh, I wanted an ESP. Most of you guys have seen this guitar in my videos and this is my ESP LTD M1000 Deluxe and I absolutely love this guitar. So I wanted to stick with ESP really for that reason. Um, the third reason I bought this specific guitar was for the Evertune Bridge and I've actually got some kind of good and bad news to tell you in a little bit here. Um, but we'll get to that. So the reason I wanted an Evertune Bridge is because I was just really tired of messing with the Floyd Rose and the, the whole tremolo thing. You know, every time I change strings, I tend to screw things up. Uh, and really, I should just get better at that or, you know, take it somewhere and get it professionally set up when I need to change strings. But anyway, I just kind of wanted to switch to see how I would like the Evertune Bridge. And, you know, I heard that it kept its tuning very well and all that sort of thing. So I'm like, all right, well, let me try that out. So those are the three reasons why I bought this specific guitar. Now, the guitar, this is an awesome guitar. So the really cool thing about it and I'm comparing it to my other ESP, my, my M1000 Deluxe. But the, the neck is very fast. I like that. That is really, really awesome. Because um, that guitar, the one I just showed you, that one plays extremely fast. I mean, it is effortless to play solos. So this guitar, uh, the LTD MH1007, it's very, very similar, plays similar. I will say that my M1000 Deluxe plays a little faster. The neck's just a little you know, faster, but that could be because of the width on this thing too. You know, again, I'm just getting used to the whole seven string here. Uh, it is, there's a slight learning curve when you've been playing a six string for your entire life, uh, 20 plus years now, maybe 24 years, man, I'm old. Uh, but then you jump from that to a seven string guitar. There's a learning curve and you gotta get used to that extra string being there. So I'm very happy with the way it plays. Uh, the pickups on here now, the EMG pickups, which again, my MH1, my M1000 Deluxe has EMG pickups. So these have the EMG, I wanna say 857H and 817H humbuckers. That's what they're called. And uh, now the pickups, they sound great, but they're not quite as hot as the EMG 81 and 83 pickups that I have in my six string guitar. So I don't want to say I'm disappointed about that because they still sound really, really good. And of course, you've got a different dynamic in tone when you're playing with a seven string versus a six string. So I will say the tone uh, is very, very clear. There's a lot of clarity in the notes when you're playing, which is what you need in a seven string guitar. Now I want to move on to the Evertune Bridge because that's really kind of the highlight. Like everything else about this guitar, it's very similar to what I was already used to with my M1000 Deluxe. So, you know, the MH1007 here was, was very similar to that, you know, had pretty much the same specs, uh, the same, you know, brand of pickups, that sort of thing, and it was built for metal. So definitely, definitely a metal guitar. 
But I want to talk about really the selling point at first for me was the Evertune bridge. Now, this thing is cool because this guitar stays in tune. It's awesome. <laughs> it's really hard to get it out of tune with this bridge. So that was like a key selling point for me with this specific guitar. Now I'm going to tell you the downside, and this is just for me. I'm more of a lead player. Yes, I write metal music, and you know the metal rhythms are really the culprit of you know heavy metal music. But I'm also uh, I'm also a lead a solo guitar player. I always have been. That's my forte. It's my specialty. All that good stuff. And I find it a little bit more difficult to play some of the solos that I want to play with this bridge. Um, two things. For one, I am missing the whammy bar. I don't even use the whammy bar that much. I just, you know, I use it like real subtly, but I'm missing that. And in fact, there's a video I put out a couple weeks ago where you see me playing leads and I want to get that whammy effect just a little on that last note and I go to swing the whammy bar and it's not there. <laughs> so that's not a bad thing for this guitar because obviously you know you're not getting that with this. But I found myself missing that whammy just for those few times that I do use it. Uh, it, adds, it adds a little bit of flavor to your guitar solos. Uh, and secondly, when I bend the strings and when I do vibrato and all that stuff, it's, it's very difficult to really get that effect because of this type of bridge. So on that note, I want to say, you know, this guitar, the LTD uh, MH1007, is definitely built for metal, especially metal rhythms. Uh, but for me as, you know, a lead guitar player, being that's kind of my, my main deal, uh, you know, I kind of miss that Floyd Rose. As much as a pain in the ass those things are, I miss it. So uh, definitely a good guitar for metal. And I'm not saying it's not good for leads. I'm, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying it's not good if, you know, for guitar solos. It's just my personal preference. I, I am missing some of the things that I can do with Floyd. So now for the breaking news. I am actually sending this guitar back today. I know, I'm very sad about that. Uh, I don't want to send it back because if I was wealthy, I would just keep it and, you know, and have a room full of guitars here, you know, but I'm not quite there yet. Uh, but I did order another ESP guitar. I'm not going to tell you what it is. It's like that Kim Wilde song, I'm going to keep you hanging on. <laughs> it's from the 80s. Now I'm really showing my age. Uh, anyway, so I've got that coming. It's already in the mail on its way here. Uh, Actually, I don't know if it's actually been mailed out yet. This is a special order, so I'm probably not gonna get it for another two or three weeks. But of course, I will, you know, I will give you guys a demonstration of that, and you'll see that guitar when it comes in on probably the majority of my videos that, that come out after that. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed my review of the ESP LTD MH1000 Evertune. Uh, please let me know your thoughts on the guitar. If you, if you own one of these or if you've thought about getting one, uh, feel free to reach out to me. I will answer any questions. Just leave those in the comments there. Uh, again, it is a very, very good guitar. I don't want to give you guys the wrong impression just because I'm sending it back. Uh, I'm only sending it back because, you know, I want another type of guitar uh, that has the Floyd. Again, I'm kind of missing that with my solos. Uh, but no, this is this is really like a battle beast here of guitar, especially for metal and extreme metal and melodic death metal which is what i tend to play these days so anyway guys i hope you enjoyed the review and until the next video keep it metal